Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Go Local Live. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for joining us this Friday afternoon as we kick off your weekend with you here downtown. I'd like to welcome on my next guest, an actor, author, writer, producer, playwright. He's done it all. Ricardo Pitzwiley has a new production at Trinity Rep, Nights People, going to take place on June 14th and 15th. Thank you so much for coming in the studio. Glad to be here, Kate. I appreciate it because it sounds like a fascinating production, Nights People, a collection of poems that evolved into a collaboration involving music. Now, you dub it People. It's featuring people who meet at the corner of midnight and the edge of time. So the night dwellers. Tell us a little bit about putting together this production. Well, um, uh, being an actor, I, I became a night person, uh, by, kind of by nature. And, uh, and I found that I was most creative at nighttime. Uh, and also, I, I, could, I could examine things that I couldn't examine during the daytime. So the people that, uh, that, that, that gather at the corner of midnight and the edge of time, this mythical place. But, but you, had, you had to imbue the night with something, and the people who gathered there with some, some, uh, something other than just a, a nightclub, a meeting place. Mm. So they gather at the corner of midnight and the edge of time uh, to sing the night song. They sing the passions of the day. They sing their own passions. They sing the passions of other people. And, and their song that they create, and they, every song, every night it's a unique song, washes the night, and it frees the sun to rise anew. And so the, it, it's an essential song, this night song. And in writing about it, I, I could explore everything from chasing the moon and, and having a good time with some reggae to a couple breaking up or a person feeling betrayed by the by the, the by the nighttime because the sun looked into their lives and, and saw all their secrets and 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 things like that but um, but but working on the process it, it, it there's so many elements to the night there's there's night creatures there's there's night emotions there's 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 loneliness that happens at night there's exhilaration that happens at night I used to think when I was growing up that Everyone was born or died at night. It, it just seemed to me that's when it always happened. And, and so seizing upon that idea a little bit too, I was able to work with my partner, Robert Slater, a guitar player who, who, who when we first did the first version of Night's People, that's where I met him in San Diego, California. And... Uh, uh, I knew nothing about music. I, I just, I just wrote, and, and but he he was a very fine guitar player, and he was able to take some of my ideas and shape them and help me shape them, and and I think I helped shape him as a musician too because, you know, sometimes the rules don't don't give you a chance to do what you do to express the idea that you want to express. So, you know, it's not willy-nilly break the rules. Mm. But in fact, it's really an appreciation of the rules after a time. But sometimes you just got to say it the way you say it. And so you told me a little bit before coming on that you've got a process that you go through when you're and working on that poetry, working on the lyrics. You know, as an, as an artist, can you divulge a little bit about what that looks like? Well, uh, yes, I love talking about it. Uh, uh, I always have a title first. Okay. And, 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 and once, as, as an actor, you understand dynamics of language. So, so, so when, when writing a poem or a song, the idea takes you into something. And the first words give you a melody, a beat, uh, there's a consonant vowel relationship that, that, I, I, that, I, that, I, uh, that I work with all the time. And, and, but the title always reminds me of what I'm writing about, what I'm trying to say. It's the first idea, it's memorialized in the title. And so it gives you that focus. It keeps me focused, but, but, but also, the first time you, 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 something comes out of your mouth, it, it tells you the style of the song. It tells you the tempo of the song. It, it, it tells you 
where the where 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 the bridge is. It tells you it tells you the verse. It tells you just so many things. It tells you where the one drop is, and uh, and musicians. I'm sure a lot of people understand the one drop. The, the thing that you want to <laughs> land on all the time, and it's and it's not the hook necessarily, mm. but 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 the one drop is not always the hook. The one drop is that place that you want to land, and, uh, and 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 in my process, does it land on something that's important to say? Am I just filling up space, or mm. am I saying something that's that's very that I think is very very important? So, you know, a song like Don't Write Me a Letter, you know, don't write me a letter I won't want to read. So it's a couple breaking up, you know, don't send me no flowers, even though I know you know my favorite kind. So it's a conversation. And also, having grown up in Michigan, I'm strongly influenced by Motown music and gospel music. But the, the great thing about Motown music, which is, which I try to model what I do a lot of the times is, it always leaves a part for the audience. Mm. So, you know, growing up listening to my girl, my girl, my girl, your part, you know, <laughs> and, and gospel music does the same thing. Gospel music is always trying to teach the listener the song. But then when you get influenced by, uh, by uh, songwriters like Stephen Sondheim, who, who make a distinction, I'm either trying to teach you the song or I really want you to listen to the lyric because the lyric is carrying the message, the storyline along. And I, I'm not looking for you to sing along with me. You know, so much, so much of Broadway music is, is about, you know, sing along. <laughs> well, you know, and, and that's, that's fun sometimes. Uh, I wasn't always trying to do that. Um, uh, uh, as I, be, as I, as, as I, was able to develop the poetry and the music for the show, I realized that, that language was key to me. Language, even more important than melody. Mm. And, and because language will give you a melody if you let it. Mm. If you listen to what's being said, if you listen to the consonants and the vowels, it'll give you a melody, it'll give you a rhythm. Well, if you want to hear the magic behind Night's People, you'll have to catch Ricardo Pitts Wiley at Trinity Rep on June 14th and 15th. Before we let you go, just tell viewers what they can expect if they attend the performance. Well, they're going to hear uh, about 18 great songs with 10 singers and, uh, uh, and, and, and really kind of, a, kind of a, the music that, that reaches out and grabs you, allows you to have a good time, allows you to feel emotions, uh, allows you to want to be at the corner of midnight and the edge of time. i got some great musicians, and uh, I encourage everyone to go to trinityrep.org uh, and, um, and uh, buy a ticket. Just two nights, the 14th and the 15th, 7.30 p.m. You don't want to be a one... You don't want to miss it. <laughs> you don't want to be the one not talking, again, about Night's People. We'll be sure to put those links up, so if you're watching after, we'll have those for you as well. But Ricardo Pitswiley, thank you so much for coming into the thank studio. You. And thank you. We're going to be right back with our next guest, so don't go anywhere, because we're going to stay right here on Go Local Live.